Hi guys, driving out here in the garden again. Just wanted to share the progress of my butternut squash here. And what I'm actually growing is the miniature ones called the honey nut. And this guy, just give you a, an idea of their size. They're not all that big, but they are plentiful. Um, so yeah, they're not ready to harvest yet, but they're getting there. And I have it trained to grow up. My little frame here is eight feet tall. And at the top of eight feet, I capped, capped it off or I topped it so that way it doesn't uh, grow any taller. Um, because I didn't want to have to get a ladder and keep training it all over the place. So we just, I said, that's enough. I've got four of them, four individual plants. They're all doing very well. They are not as fast growing as some of the other squashes that I had. They're, they're much slower growing than the pumpkins, which are even slower growing than the um, spaghetti squash. So if you're going to plant these with other squashes like I did, make sure you take into account that they do tend to grow slower. Um, and their leaves are also a whole lot smaller than, like there's the there's a yellow squash next to it. So you can kind of see the difference between the, the leaves there. Um, so yeah, it's been pretty good. The other plants or the other squashes have gotten uh, powdery mildew pretty bad, so I'm spraying all of them down. They're getting to the point now in their lifetime where they're, some of these others are just dying out, whereas this guy is still going strong. So again, a uh, slower, slower growth pattern on it. I have heard that the fruits are going to be yummy, yummy. And I will let you know if that is the case, but these are not quite ready yet. In case you have any question about whether or not these need any of the the hammocks that some of the other guys do, well, one, they're teeny weeny, so they don't they don't need it. But this is a really strong um, vine here, so I, I haven't needed any. I started out supporting them and, and I took them all down because they just really didn't need it. So anyway, it vi it's vined up very nicely, grows very tall very easily, or will wind around whatever framework you've got. So this is actually not one that I'm training to grow vertically when it doesn't want to be vertical. It is actually a climbing variety. And um, these little tendrils that it's got are uh, quite strong once they find something to wrap around. They, they will do so. Anyway, I so far I've really liked this plant. I will definitely be planting this one again, assuming that it is tasty. And it's got a little baby shoot coming off of one of those other ones down there. I decided to let that grow. Let's see how it goes. We got some more. It is very prolific. I will say that it is very prolific. Um, but even so, even if it produces one shoot for every or one fruit for every juncture of leaf and, and vine, I'd say about half of the potential that it had is actually manifested into little melons. So, so yeah, there is that. So anyway, that is my status on the honey nut butternut squash. I've never grown full size butternut, so I don't really have a comparison for it, but I really like this miniature one. Um, so yeah, there you go. Y'all have fun in your gardens.